Hi, my name is Prasad. I'm a senior principal technical marketing manager at Red Hat. And welcome to another topic in the AI 101 series. Today, we're going to look at DevOps versus MLOps. So we're going to compare and contrast DevOps and MLOps. DevOps is traditional is used in the context of traditional software development. And MLOps is used in the context of machine learning. But take a look at both of these terminologies and we see that they talk about ops. So it's operations. Well, that involves two things. It's not just any operations, but a cycle of operations that include development deployment into production and then maintenance. Now that's step one. Now we can't do all of these manually so it comes down to like automation. So automate everything that's in step one. Let's dive a little bit into the different phases with DevOps and MLOps and see how they match against each other. So with DevOps, you start with coding and then Build, test, deploy, and monitor. And this goes in a loop. Now with MLOps, you go into a a train, it's like building and training a machine learning model, and then you go to like saving the model, then test the model before you roll it out into production, and then you sell the model, and then you monitor it. And just like DevOps, this goes on in a loop. Now, let me explain the different phases. So code is where you like develop the code. Now, it's, it looks like one single step, but typically you develop the code, like optimize the code, like test the code, and it go, goes into an iterative process. And once that is done, you uh, build the release artifacts. Now, it's just like how you develop a code with traditional software applications. You are, here, you are building or training a machine learning model. Now, just like how I uh, mentioned coding, like building a machine learning model is also an experimental and iterative process because you are doing exploratory analysis with the data, trying to play with different uh, statistical algorithms, like training the model, either like optimizing the model or like fine tuning the model, and then you're testing the model against new data and making sure like that, that model works. Now, just like how you build the release artifacts, like packaging everything together of what you've developed, if you have the machine learning model here, you want to make sure it's it's consumable in the form of like a standard format, like ONNX, or it could be a like framework specific format. But eventually, you're saving the model and pushing it to a, an external storage or like like an object storage or a, a local storage, and then just like uh, traditional software applications where before you roll out, 
you want to run a, a set of a suite of tests and make sure like the software works as intended. So here, what we do in terms of testing is actually like canary rollouts, which is like you do not want to deploy the model into production and run it against live data, but instead you deploy it and reroute like a certain portion of the traffic to that specific model and see if it actually works as intended. Now, once everything goes fine, you actually serve the model, which is nothing but it's, it basically means you're deploying the model into production. So just have how you deploy the software application into production, you're serving the machine learning model into production. So now in both of these, we have the application in production now. Now we need to monitor it. The DevOps or a traditional software application we're monitoring the performance of it. And one big difference here is with machine learning is with, with um, traditional software application, the code is not gonna degrade. I mean, you could have new functionality requirements, you, have, you could have new performance requirements, but the code itself is gonna stay the same. But with machine learning, over a period of time, the code could actually degrade. By degrade, I mean like the data could completely change or a portion of the data could change, which means the model is not working as intended. So now it's you have to go back and retrain the model with the same statistical approach, but with the new change data, or for you could completely take a new statistical algorithm or new approach and train on the new data and then go through the entire phase. So just stepping back and looking at these two, they align so well against each other so that you could say ML ops is nothing but dev ops for machine learning applications. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more interesting videos in the AI World series.